Reefers. Mike Rowe here at Mike Reefs. I wanted to set up a 12.5 gallon all-in-one and I'm gonna go ahead and document this for you guys on YouTube. So stick along and we will get this going really quickly. We decided to go with the Bimini Pink 20 pounds of live sand. I grabbed a little bit thicker sand because I wanted to pair up a Yashagobi. And then of course we did the Fritz number nine to kind of speed up the process and some reef spec carbon. And then we went ahead and ordered from KP Aquatics here in Florida, some really nice live rock and I'll show you that next. Went ahead and poured the 20 pound live sand in a little bucket there so I can easily uh, add it through the Euro brace of the uh, 12 gallon. Now we have about, I'm gonna say, I think it's 20 pounds, yeah, 20 pounds of live bimini sand on there. So I wanted to kind of, kind of you guys to take a look at the thickness on it. It looks about almost two inches at the bottom. Now my brother ordered about 20 pounds of live rock from KPA. He kept the bigger pieces and it was way too much for a 12 gallon even though the rule is 1.5 and it was just way too much for the um, all-in-one. He gave me these pieces. You see I'm going to go ahead and try to, it's a really beautiful piece of the color and it's still natural all the colors on there of the coralline growth. I'm going to go ahead and try to set something up here before I put it into the aquarium. Do a little bit of aquascaping. Okay guys, I did the aquascaping here and it looks like I barely found a, something that doesn't hit the walls of the acrylic. I'm a big fan of like not having it even in the back of the black so you can clean the black. I'm not a fan of it colliding with the, the acrylic in the back so you can keep that beautiful black on there. So let's see if I can put this now up on the stand. Okay, here we now have about three quarters of the tank full and I'm continuing just to add a little bit more water. Going kind of slowly to make sure that I don't stir the sand or move those rocks. Looks pretty easy to uh, install the reef spec carbon into my three-stage removable media basket. Okay, so you have to remove about half of the uh, granules of the carbon on there because it's it, it rated for um, 100 gallons. So I'm gonna go with like just barely over just half. I removed half on there. I'm gonna show you how you can pack it in. Sort of right in here, they give you a little bag. The little bag's in there and um, the carbon's inside. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay that out so you guys can see. Okay, this is a three-stage media basket that I that I make here at Mike Reefs. And we have, you know, just the polyfibers to trap, you know, debris. Then we have a sponge that'll probably grow some anti uh, antibacterial bacteria, or excuse me, some uh, aerobic bacteria hopefully in there or anaerobic. I can't remember which of the two, but um, one of those two will cultivate in there to help uh, the bioload as well. And then just below that is where we're gonna have the, um, the reef carbon on there. It's kind of cool. And it, the little drip plate from here comes through here. And then we have that third one here that will probably do the chemi here after three months into the system. So you got three stage in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the back now. Here we are bringing the three stage media basket right into the 12 gallon, just slides right in there like this. I'm trying to film with one hand, put it right in there, and if it's just like a glove. 